Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Eva Elederová and I am an English teacher at the Department of Foreign Languages of the Faculty of Electrical Engineering and Communication in Brno University of Technology. The aim of my presentation is to outline the project of design-based research of an electronic course book for ESP, which can serve as an example of good practice for other teachers of ESP in higher education. The electronic course book is designed for students of the Bachelor Study Program English in Electrical Engineering and Informatics that the Department of Foreign Languages guarantees. The study program is relatively new. It was opened in 2012 and the graduates of the study program have to master spoken and written English at the level C1 of the Common European Framework of Languages focused on professional English usage in electrical engineering and information technology. In my presentation, I will give reasons for design-based research of an e course book, English for IT. Then I will explain the concept of design-based research. Next, I will outline the research design, acquaint you with the research objectives and describe research samples, including examples from the evaluated pilot version of the e course book. Finally, I will focus on the development of a checklist, which may serve as a useful tool for the evaluation of an ESP course book. What are the main reasons for design-based research of an e-course book? First, despite a range and variety of course books for ESB available on the market, it is still rare to find those meeting both the students' needs and the specific course or study program's requirements. Moreover, some topics in the published course books do not correspond to the particular ESP course or field of study and it is difficult to cover one semester course with the exact number of coursebook units. Often teachers have to either adapt existing learning materials or design their own materials. Therefore, the need arises to design a made-to-measure e-coursebook for the particular course of ESP. The last reason is that design-based research provides a great opportunity to experience a dual role of a practitioner and a researcher. Now let's move on to the next slide explaining the concept of design-based research. Design-based research is a relatively new type of research which began to develop at the beginning of the 21st century. It involves a systematic analysis, design and evaluation of educational interventions. A term intervention refers to all entities that can be designed and developed such as educational programs, learning environments, teaching learning methods and learning materials. Design-based research has a dual aim – to generate solutions for complex problems in educational practice and to advance our knowledge about the characteristics of these interventions and the processes of designing and developing them. This slide illustrates a cyclical and iterative character of design-based research – analysis, prototype design and development, Evaluation and revision activities are iterated until an appropriate balance between idols and realization is achieved. Design-based research has the following characteristic features. It is situated in a real educational context, which provides a sense of validity to the research. It focuses on the design and testing of a significant intervention, which may be an educational program, a learning environment, teaching learning method, learning materials and others. It uses mixed methods of data collection, both quantitative and qualitative, such as questionnaires, interviews, observations and document analysis. It involves multiple iterations. Uh, Design-based research evolves through the design and testing of prototypes, iterative refinement and continuous evolution of the design. Uh, next, it leads to the evolution of design principles, which is probably the most uh, important characteristic feature. Uh, the principles are both substantive characteristics of design itself and procedural characteristics of the design approach. Um, it involves a collaborative partnership between researchers and practitioners, which negotiates the study from the initial research problem identification up to the production of design principles. 
Uh, and uh, it has a practical impact on practice by means of attempting to find a solution to a complex educational problem and making practitioners reflect upon the results of their research. Now I will move on to our own research design. The general objective of our design-based research of the course book English for IT is to establish a link between the design of the course book and its iterative testing for the purpose of evaluation and redesign of the course book so that it would be the most appropriate teaching and learning tool for the target group of students. The intermediate objectives of our design-based research are two. First, evaluation of the course book with the aim to collect information about its quality by means of checklists and didactic pretests and post-tests. And second, development cycle of the course book with the aim to optimize the course book quality by means of the production of substantive and procedural design principles. This slide illustrates the stages of our research. After the preparation phase, including design of data collection tools, the realization phase follows when the course book is implemented, data are collected, systematized, analyzed and interpreted. Research findings are discussed, the course book is redesigned and iterative cycle is repeated until the design is optimal. Finally, design principles are produced. The four research samples which were selected intentionally include the e-course book English for Information Technology, students of the first year of the Bachelor Study Program English in Electrical Engineering and Informatics at the Faculty of Electrical Engineering and Communication, Bono University of Technology, English language teachers of the Department of Foreign Languages who teach the target group of students, and teachers of Electrical Engineering and Information Technology courses who teach the target group of students in English. The course book specifications are following. The target group are the intermediate level learners, input level B1 according to CEFR, who study information and communication technology at universities and wish to further their careers in this field. The objective of the course book is to equip the students with both receptive and productive skills in professional English language specialized in IT and to enable the students to read a wide range of professional texts, listen to lectures, give presentation, actively participate in seminars, as well as effectively communicate with teachers and colleagues. As for the contents, the book uh, includes 14 units uh, covering a wide range of topics dealing with IT and the revision unit. Each unit uh, consists of the main topic, vocabulary practice, reading, listening, speaking, language functions, English check word list of the specialized terminology, and uh, each unit is accompanied with the answer key. As for the task types, uh, there are reading, listening, vocabulary tasks, uh, which uh, include multiple matching, um, gap filling, uh, multiple choice clause, multiple choice, sentence completion and true false tasks. As for the speaking tasks, they include pair work, group discussions, role plays and giving individual presentations. Following slides provide illustrative examples from the e-course book. Including vocabulary practice, where you can see such tasks as naming the components, matching and filling a crossword puzzle. Listening tasks from the course book, for example, include multiple matching, filling the table or answering questions. Speaking tasks include problem solving pair work, role plays or group discussions. The last topic I like to focus on in my presentation is the development of evaluation criteria checklist. To evaluate uh, the e-course book by teachers and students, the evaluation criteria checklist was developed. After the modification of the checklist, um, evaluation of its reliability, 23 criteria or items were clustered into seven categories. 
The first three categories are general aims of the course book, where the criteria address the extent to which the aims of the course book correspond to the course aims. The second category, clear arrangement, includes criteria related to the external and internal layout of the course book. And the third category, adequacy, includes criteria addressing the adequacy of the text and tasks to the language level and professional level of the students. The fourth category, learning guidance, contains criteria dealing with text features, visuals, problem-solving tasks, pair work, group work, individual work tasks and tasks for recycling and reinforcement. The fifth category includes motivational characteristics, where the criteria relate to the authenticity and attractiveness of topics. The sixth category, language content, includes criteria addressing adequacy of professional vocabulary, vocabulary learning strategies and language functions acquisition. The last category, language skills, contains criteria relating to the balance of different language skills and development of reading, listening and speaking skills and strategies. The checklist was transformed into the questionnaire items presenting the respondents with the five-level Likert scale from strongly agree to strongly disagree. Well, that's all from me and I hope my presentation was at least a little inspirational for those who would like to design, analyze and evaluate their own electronic course books or other e-learning materials not only for English for specific purposes. Thank you for your attention.